It's time to pray, learn and create. It's time to pray, learn and create. It's time to pray, learn and create. It's time to pray, learn and create at Christ Preschool Learning Academy. Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you? How are you? Good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Christ Preschool Learning Academy, where we pray, learn, and create. My name is Miss Zanita, but you can call me Miss Z. What's your name? Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Are you ready to begin our circle time? But first, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us, God. We thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for giving us good health. Lord, we pray that you would continue to protect us and help us to grow healthy and strong. Please give us wisdom and understanding for our preschool learning today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now it's time to go over our Bible verse for the week. So if you have a Bible, go ahead and get your Bible and let's read together. Our Bible verse for this week is 1 Peter 4, 8. And it says, above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sin. Wow, that means if someone does something that's not so nice, then love can cover over that if we choose to forgive them. So if someone takes a toy from you and you were playing with it, well, instead of getting angry at them, you can say, I'll share with you. Here you go, you can have it, right? And then forgive them for trying to take it. That means that love covered them when they tried to take your toy, right? So practice loving today. Let's sing our Bible verse for today. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Yes, love covers over a multitude of sins. for today. Now we're going to sing the B-I-B-L-E song. But first, I need my friend Grandma Cheryl. Oh, Grandma Cheryl, Grandma Cheryl, where are you? We're going to sing the B-I-B-L-E song. Oh, hi, Grandma Cheryl. Are you ready to sing? Well, let's sing. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word B-I-B-L-E Sing, Grandma Cheryl. The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God The B-I-B-L-E Wow, very good singing, Grandma Cheryl. Thank you for singing with us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. I would like you all to go ahead and tune in to me and Grandpa Lewis Bible Memory Verse on Sunday. I will see you then. Okay? Bye-bye. Oh, I just love singing with Grandma Cheryl. Now it's time to find out what today is. Hmm. If yesterday was Wednesday, mm -hmm, tomorrow will be Friday. Hmm. We'll need to look at our days of the week chart. Can you sing the song with me? All right, let's sing. Well, here's my chart. Let's sing the song. Days of the week. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yay! Very good. Let's sing faster, but this time you can go and get an instrument. I have my microphone today, and you can get whatever you have, and let's sing together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yay! Very good singing. So if yesterday was Wednesday, mm -hmm, and tomorrow will be Friday, that means we have to go up a day. Boop. That means today is Thursday. Thursday. Can you say Thursday? Very good. Thursday. Let's put Thursday on the board. Today is Thursday. Ding, ding, ding. Very good. When you do a great job learning with me today, you get a heart for love. Now it's time to go over the weather for today. Hmm, I wonder what the weather's like outside. Can you go look outside your window and come back and share with us? Okay, I'm going to look out fine too. Wow. Well, what'd you see? Let's look at our weather chart first. Here's the weather chart. <laughs> Is the weather... Is it snowy today where there's snow coming down from the sky and it's white and bright like my whiteboard? Is it snowy today? No, it's not snowy over here either. Hmm. Let's try again. Is it cloudy today? Is it cloudy where you live? where there's a lot of clouds up high in the sky and it's covering over the sun. Hmm, is it cloudy? No. Hmm, let's try again. Is it partly sunny today where some of the clouds are covering over the sun just like this picture? Yes, it's partly sunny today. Ding, ding, ding. Let's put Partly Sunny on the board. Partly Sunny. The weather is Partly Sunny. Very good. Let's sing our new weather song. What is the weather? What is the weather for today? What is the weather? What is the weather for today? Wow! We can now say the weather is partly sunny today. Thank you, God, for creating partly sunny weather today. And now it's time to figure out what the month is. Let's look at the months of the year chart. Here's our months of the year chart. Months of the year. Let's sing it. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. These are the months of the year. These are the months of the year. Very good singing. Let's sing faster. This time, let's clap our hands, okay? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year, boom, boom. These are the months of the year, boom, boom. These are the months of the year. Yay, very good singing. I wonder what month we're in. Let's find out. Are we in the month of November? 
where you see a lot of leaves falling around and flying around in the air? No, it's not November. Let's try again. Are we in the month of April where it's springtime and the flowers are blooming and smelling good? <sighs> yes, we're in the month of April. April. Let's put April on the board. The month is April. Ding, 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 ding. Very good job. You get another heart for love. Now it's time to go over the number of the week. Hmm, I wonder what the number is. Let's use our fingers and count. One, two, three, four. Let's see if you remember. Let's count to 10 and see if you remember the number of the week. Here's my numbers chart. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! You just counted to ten. Great job counting. All right. Let's see if you remember what the number of the week is. Is the number of the week three? Like these three giraffes? One, two, three. Hmm. No, it's not three. Let's try again. Is the number of the week eight? No, huh, not eight. Do you remember we counted on our fingers first? Let's count again. Is the number of the week four? Yes, very good. The number of the week is four. One, two, three, four. Great job. Let's put the number four on the board. Awesome job. Now it's time to figure out what the shape of the week is. Hmm. Let's look at some shapes and see if you remember. Is the shape of the week a square? A square has four sides. One, two, three, four. Is the shape of the week a square? No. Hmm. Let's try again. Is the shape of the week a circle? Where it goes around and around and around and around and around and around and around? No, it's not a circle. Let's try one more time. The shape of the week is shaped kind of like an egg. What do you think it is? That's right, it's an oval, oval. Can you say oval? Very good. When you turn it this way, it's shaped like an egg. Let's put oval on the board. Great job. Now let's find out what the letter of the week is. But first, let's sing our new alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Very good. Let's sing it a little faster. Let's clap our hands. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, Now that you sung the alphabet song, 
Let's see what the letter of the week is. The letter of the week is actually under this cover right here. And we need our friend Sean to help us. Oh, Sean, Sean, where are you, Sean? We need help finding the letter of the week, Sean. Oh, hi, Sean. Are you ready to find out the letter of the week? Oh, great, let's do it. You guessed it, the letter of the week is B, B. Very good, B is for boy. Very good, Sean is a boy. <laughs> Thank you for helping us, Sean. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. We have the uppercase B, also known as the big B, and then we have the lowercase B, also known as the little B. We are gonna put both of the Bs back on the board. But let's first say the B sound. B, B, B. B, B, B. Very good. B is for Bible, Bible. For Craft Tuesday this past week, we created our own Bible. We used black construction paper and white construction paper and blew the white inside and I told you that you could go ahead and color the inside, or you could write a Bible scripture. One of my children started writing one in here. And if you, if you missed that video, go ahead and watch that video and create your Bible craft. Put the bees back on the board. And the Bible next to it. Very good. The letter of the week is B. Bing, 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 bing. You get another heart for love. Great job. Now let's go over one color for today. Well, the color for today is like the color of my hair. Hmm, I wonder what color that is. Let's find out. Oh, we should look at our colors chart first. Let's see what it is. Is the color purple? Is my hair the color purple? No. Let's try again. Is my hair the color of brown? No. Let's do one more time. Is my hair this color? What is it? Black. Can you say black? Very good. This color is black. Black. Yay! Let's put black on the board. I want you to find something black in your home and point to it and say black, black. <laughs> Very good job. Now it's time to sing the goodbye song. Mm. But I hope to see you again in my next class. Oh, Sean, Sean, it's time to sing the goodbye song. Where are you, Sean, Sean? Oh, hi, Sean. Are you ready to sing the goodbye song? All right, let's sing. Goodbye for now, goodbye for now, I hope to see you again. Goodbye for now, goodbye for now, I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for singing with us, Sean. We hope to see you again. And don't forget to watch our Craft Tuesday and make your Bible craft. Also, be sure to tune in to Grandpa Lewis and Grandma Cheryl's Bible Memory Verse on Sunday. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.